Hi guys and maybe girls. <laughs> uh, first off again apologies for my English but uh, today we're going to be looking at a, at a problem that I've been getting a lot of questions uh, since my previous video which is uh, how to resize the green screen footage that you've done without also cropping off the, the background layer. So as you can see here I've got it set up so that you know, um, I've got the green screen footage on top where I've already keyed out the green background so you've got just child above here just walking around and on the bottom layer I've got the background picture which is uh, just a photo of Tokyo I've used as an just as an example really so the problem is uh, when you resize the uh, green screen footage oh sorry that's the wrong layer when you resize the green screen footage um, you seem to be only able to see through the part where the green screen originally was. So today we're going to be solving this problem and uh, for those of you who just want to do the green screen um, maybe you can watch the previous video so I'll leave the link in the description below in case you just want to go and watch that first to see how to do the green screen and then maybe to solve this problem you can come back and watch this video. So um, okay let's get started. Firstly, let's have a look at what's exactly going on to cause this problem. Basically, let's go to the color tab. If you followed the previous video already, you've done the green screen. So basically, it's just one simple node where I've used the qualifier tool here to remove the green, to basically key out the green background, right? And then from there, I'm sending out the information of the alpha channel, basically just telling the program where I want this layer to be transparent and basically disregard the green bits here, right? So I'm sending out this alpha channel information into the alpha channel output. So basically the program is saying, okay, I want to keep this, uh, this area where the person is walking around, but I also, I want to make the area where the green screen was to be transparent, right? So basically what happens is when I put this fo footage on top of the background layer, the program is saying, oh, okay, the person uh, is what I want to keep, right? And the alpha channel, which is the, where the green screen was, I want to make it transparent so I can see through it to the background layer underneath. But basically what happened is when I reduce the size of this layer here on top, the green screen footage layer, I'm also reducing the size of the alpha channel. So basically the window where uh, the, my footage is transparent is also reducing in size, right? So I can only see through the area where the green screen was, where I told the program, okay, I want this part to be the alpha channel where I can see through. And the program is saying, okay, from beyond that beyond that part the rest of the footage just disregard it just make it black and that's where the problem is uh, when we want to resize the green screen footage so to fix this problem is actually very simple all we need to do is go back to the color tab and now we just have to draw a power window around the area where our subject is or you can just draw it so it's exactly the same size as the green screen footage now in this case i've already drawn uh, a power window using the uh, the square power window and you can do it draw it with any shape really just make sure that your subject is that is walking around or moving around your green screen doesn't go outside the power window that you've drawn right so now having drawn a power window if we go back to the the edit area the edit tab okay just sorry to be clear i'll just show you the green screen area one more time right so this is the green screen area and i just drawn the square power window just around the edge of the green screen area so now we go back to the uh the footage oh sorry better turn on the green screen uh keying now if you go back to the uh edit tab right now you can see that all the background is visible no matter how big or small how large or small i resize my green screen footage that's be that's because basically what's happening now is the program is saying okay i've done the green screen so basically all this area here in the green screen i wanted to make transparent right so now the program knows that so all the the part that the, the program is going to keep is child above right here walking around on top of that since i've drawn the power window here the program also knows that i want to get rid of the footage everywhere outside of this clip as well right so basically now when i put it on top of the background layer what's happening is okay the program is like the green screen area around child above now is transparent on top of that all the area outside of the power window which is around here somewhere is also getting rid of and also transparent so we can see through to the background layer and basically that's it really it's not nothing more to say to be honest uh, it's not complicated at all but uh yeah i'm sure lots of people uh, lots of you guys are saying jesus christ you could have just shown us in uh two seconds there but i just wanted to go 
just a little bit of the principle behind why this problem is happening so you can get a clearer picture and you can understand uh, why the hell is behaving so weirdly which is um, something I kind of struggle with at the beginning as well I was like hang on if I just do the green screen and I've already made the background transparent why when I'm resizing my green screen footage is also affecting the background which is it's just weird I just couldn't get my head around it until I kind of it just clicks like oh okay I see what's happening the uh, the alpha channel is only that big so when I resize it the alpha channel also reduces so the transparent area is also smaller and that's why it's cropping out the background so I needed to uh, draw the power window around my subject in order to also get rid of all the other cropping around here. So um, well that's it really. I hope it was useful for any of you having this problem and uh, uh, if my English is not too bad then I hope you understood what I, uh, maybe 50% of what I'm saying anyway. So uh, well, thank you very much for watch watching and maybe if I get a chance to do another clip uh, maybe I'll see you next time. Bye!